Hey guys, it's Bailey. Welcome back to the channel and thanks for tuning in to what is going to be a review of another set of magnetic lashes that I picked up recently. They are from the brand Ilure. They're, they're the Lux Magnetic Mink Effect Lashes, the actual cases right here, and I'm wearing them on my eyes today. But you might know if you've been around the channel for a while, I love magnetic lashes. I first fell in love with the Ardell Magnetic Accents. The band is super thin. There are three magnets on the lash band and they're just super easy to apply specifically the accents if you are using the top and bottom lashes. But basically I fell in love with magnetic accents because they're not nearly as hard to apply as a full strip of magnetic lashes and you don't have to worry about the mess and the dry time and the potential to mess up as you might with lashes that require regular lash glue. So I am a magnetic lash addict. I have so many sets of these and there hadn't really been a ton of other magnetic lashes out there until recently when I was scrolling on Ulta because they just won't stop giving out 20% discounts. Um, so I was scrolling on Ulta and I found a set from Ilora. I don't know how long these have been out here, so maybe they're not even new. They've just been out for a while, but I finally got my hands on them and I wanted to share a review today. So these retail for around 16 bucks, depending on where you get them, if there's a sale, if you have a coupon, things like that. And at first I thought that was kind of expensive relative to what I had remembered the Ardell's costing, but the Ardell accents are actually kind of expensive. They're like between 10 and 12 bucks, again, depending on where you buy coupons, etc. Just wanted to share that for a cost reference. They also come clearly in a plastic case separating the upper and the lower lashes. So for those of you who might not know, magnetic lashes work by basically sandwiching your lashes in with a top and bottom lash that have magnetic, well, magnets attached to the lash band. And they can come in different configurations depending on how long the lash band is. Like I said, the Ardell has the three magnets at the top. I was interested interested to see that the Ilure just has two. They have one magnet on either side of the lash, so you don't have to worry about making contact with a third middle magnet in there. Now they do have a thicker lash band, which I, I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about that compared to the Ardell that are pretty slim, very discreet. So if you don't want to wear eyeliner, if you don't really want to wear any sort of eye makeup, it, you're not going to look like you're wearing a magnetic lash on your eye line. So I was a little worried about that with the Ilure. However, I think because because both of those magnets are on either side, you don't have to worry about some weird kink or bend in the middle of your lash. They just really sit up nice and flush against your lash line. That thick lash band really doesn't make as big of a difference as I thought it would. Like I think they are pretty natural looking on the eye. The band that is. These are actually very dramatic lashes, especially compared to those Ardell. So they say they are Lux Magnetic Mink Effect lashes. So they're very wispy, they're very dense. Like I'm actually only wearing one of the layers of lashes. I'm just wearing the top lash here. And if you're wondering why that is or how that is, it's because I have magnetic eyeliner and I have a whole video review of this if you wanna check it out, but that's how I am accomplishing this right now. So they are really thick, but I think that helps you see just how thick one of these are so when you layer them up they really are like next level drama especially for a magnetic lash and I really like them. I mean, they are very dramatic, so if you're not a dramatic lash person, these might not be for you, but overall, I'm really pleased with the effect they give my lashes. I'm pleased with how they blend in with my lash line. Oh, they also come with an applicator, which I think is really important to mention. I don't know that it makes it any easier to apply these. Honestly, I struggle more trying to learn how to use the applicator than I do just normally going in to apply them. But it is nice to have that different option to apply if you struggle one way versus the other. So know that you also do get that in here too. Now they say that you can wear these up to 15 times. I have to imagine though that you can wear them way more than that unless you're really hard on your lashes or if you wear a lot of eye makeup that might transfer onto them that's difficult to clean off of them. Um, or if they think or they know the magnet is going to lose its strength. I just can't imagine you're only going to get 15 wears out of this simply because anytime I have taken them off, I, they look good as new. The magnet still feels just as strong. And I like the fact that they come with this case because there is a tacky line of something on these little half moons here that actually helps your lash stick back onto them. It's not just like you pull it off and once it's off, the glue is gone or the adhesive that was holding it on here is gone. On. There is just 
a thin little something on there that helps them hold them on and I think it helps them keep their shape and helps keep them organized in here. So I just, I can't imagine that you're only gonna get 15 wears out of this. That said, even if it is, it's a buck a wear. It's not great compared to other lashes, but I think you're probably gonna be able to get more out of these. And I would pay just for the convenience of magnetic lashes, period, because they are so much faster and easier to apply than a regular lash. So bottom line, I really like these magnetic eye lure accents, maybe even more than my Ardell accents for as much as I really do love these. I love how dramatic these are. So basically I do have like a, a daytime or an everyday kind of lash and if I want something more dramatic, I can go for the eye lures. But I do think that just for a little, a few dollars more, you get a lot more with the eye lure between this case that I think is going to help preserve your lashes more, the applicator, if you find you have trouble with that, I just, it feels like you're getting a little bit more out of your lash with these. And so I really like that as well. I won't stop wearing my magnetic accent lashes, but something that I found when I was wearing the magnetic liner was that because you only need one of the lashes, you don't need this bottom lash here to make it connect to your eyelid. I noticed that the Ardells were lacking a little bit of drama. So these also solve that problem for me as well in the event that I don't want to have to mess with making these two connect. I just want to wear the liner. I'll probably always go for the eye lure because they give me enough length to be a noticeable lash without being super over the top. So those are basically my thoughts on this set. Still loving magnetic lashes. If you haven't tried them, I highly recommend you check them out. Let me know what you think of these or magnetic lashes in general down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will catch you in the next video. Bye guys.